What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this quick video and today we'll be having a speed test between the hyped meta recently, the 6-9 point guard and the usual small point guard, let's have it at 6-1. With this one here, I'm not going to comment much if it's fair or not, I'll just put some samples out there and let you guys decide. So let me know in the comment section what you think about it, does it need to be changed or just fair? So now let's get right into it. So we got two players, we got the typical max stat for a 6-9 and a 6-1 point guard. First one, in terms of sprint without the ball, from the get-go, smaller player is much faster. With this one here, we're factoring speed and height. And here's how it looks like in real time. Next one, in terms of sprint with the ball, here's how it looks like. With this one here, we're factoring in quick first step badge, acceleration, speed with ball, and the height gap. I think of all these samples, this one here is the most intriguing part. For me personally, I was actually expecting more. And in terms of speed boost off a dribble move, Pretty much the same gap as the previous one. And here's how dribbling speed looks like. I'm not sure what else is factored in on this one, but I'm pretty sure ball handles is one big factor in here. So that's all for the speed test, I'm not judging those two builds overall, of course there's some other differences that these two builds can have, these are just the major ones in terms of movements. So let me know in the comment section what you think, are these gaps just fair or something needs to be changed? Keep in mind that's a 6-1 to 6-9 gap. So that's all for the video. If you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos. And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming, guys. Peace.